What up, what up, what up? My peeps. Who's on here? Let's see, what is today? Today is Tuesday ish at 9 p.m. I'm wondering if I'm taking over another live session. I don't know. Has Ben been live tonight? What's going on? How we doing, people? There we go. So, I'm just checking in with you guys. I know I haven't uh, posted anything in a while. Mainly because I haven't been the one hot dogging. Um, right now, I'm just cleaning and organizing, trying to get the garage straightened up. I got a fridge, a freezer, some shelving units. Um, I'm reorganizing things because I'm. So, I've got a contractor coming out probably next week to run some water lines and a drain for the sink here. What up, Kelly? Um, so I'm installing a sink. I've got fridge, freezer. Also, check this out, hot doggers. That right there is an ice machine I just got today. So I was looking for an ice machine. Hopefully, you know, obviously I wanted to save on ice. Sorry, my camera. My camera, camera ship, camera ship, videographer skills are slacking right now. Um, ice machine, found this on Amazon. It's like 500 bucks, less than, it's like $440. Makes up to 100 pounds of ice in a day, right? So I'm thinking, so I was looking for an ice machine. I got tired of paying for ice. And so, hot doggers, for 440 bucks, you can get one of these ice machines works the same way as a commercial ice machine just a little bit smaller um, and it makes ice it hooks right up to your you can run a water line to it and it drains out it's got a little drain drain tube on it um, super cool super cool so hot doggers if you're looking for options for uh, ice that's something you can do but I just wanted to check in with you guys let you know what's going on um, I've got some more videos coming out soon I'm gonna do some more videos I did Hey, new slash sold the laundromat. I no longer own a laundromat. I sold the laundromat. Um, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a video. I'm gonna do a video on that coming up, like an actual video, not a live. But uh, I did sell the laundromat, and um, I've got another another one of those. No, those. Another cash cow coming. Getting ready to order another cash cow. So that'll be three carts. Um, so I've just I've had a lot. I haven't I haven't been working the hot dog stand at the bar. I want to get back to it, but right now what I'm doing is I'm working with my cousin Tom. Um, sold the laundromat, Danny. Ah, uh, you're watching. <laughs> yeah, I sold the laundromat. Um, so I'm working with my cousin Tom. We're working on finding some good hot dog spots to go through and um cereal brand. Yeah, mom, I sold the laundromat. Um working on finding some good daily spots. So what I want to do is I'm gonna set up shifts. I'm gonna have three carts. Um I'm gonna have three carts. I'm gonna set up shifts on each cart. Ideally I want each cart to be out day and night. Um, so that's kind of what I've been working on with my cousin Tom. I don't know if he's watching. He's probably actually he's probably at work right now. But um, I've been having him kind of take the carts out, help me find spots, good daily spots, good spots that that make money daily. Um, so that's kind of what I've been working on. That's why I haven't posted. I've been you know focused on the business itself, focused on growing growing the hot dog business. Um, working on selling the laundromat 
now that that cat cat's out of the bag um so that's where i'm at i just wanted to check in with you guys yeah so 297 appreciate it i trustworthy people that, that is the uh that's the tough part that's the tough part about this business is with it being a cash business it's finding trustworthy people um the guy i got now tom it's my cousin he's a good dude great dude um i'm helping him out he's helping me out it's a win-win for both of us so you know it kind of it's working um and then as i find spots to set up shifts for each cart I'm going to bring more people on. Hopefully I'll be able to trust them and, and um, you know, I have to put some things in place to, to minimize the risk for loss. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I'm working on right now. Just trying to, trying to put, put a system together. Uh, if you, obviously with the laundromat, it was just me and I was able to put all of these systems in place to, to remove myself from having to be there every day. That's kind of what I'm trying to do with the hot dog in business. I'm trying to set up, set up the systems, set up the systems for each cart, for the locations, for the inventory, um, <clears throat> for money management. I'm trying to build these systems and put these systems in place um, that are going to allow me to eventually get back to doing what I want to do, which is the hot dog videos at the Beaver, and and. Um, you know, start bringing you guys back in on, on the actual hot dogging versus the behind the scenes. I'm not going to do cameras on all of my carts. Um, says, will I have cameras on the carts? I'm not going to have cameras on all the carts, although that is a good idea. Some people just don't want to be on camera and especially, um, so here in Indianapolis, we have what's called Monument Circle, which is like the, cent the, the middle of the city. That's where all of our skyscrapers are. It's downtown. It's in the middle of downtown. Skyscrapers, million dollar condos. Um, it's like the center of our city. And that's where that's where I have him setting up during the day right now. Um, and so a lot of the people down there that go down there to work, they're working at the Chase headquarters or Salesforce headquarters. They're working for these major companies. They just don't want to be on camera. So um, I'm not going to be the guy to put them on camera. I mean, it's a little different when you're working a day, you know, working, working a hot dog cart during the day than versus working a hot dog cart at night in front of a bar. It's a little bit different. So I'm not going to do cameras on the carts during the day. Um, I may do some, I'm, once I get back in, once I get, you know, a schedule going, schedule, once I get a schedule rolling, I get some people on board. We're working, you know, I've got the shifts covered. I've got all my carts out. Um, I may give the option to the people that are working the carts at night on weekends in front of the bars. I may give them the option to let me set up a camera if they want to be on camera. Um, I can, I'll set up a camera and let them, you know, record, record the other people, my other, other people slinging. But um, for right now, it's just going to be me when I get back to it. So um that's just kind of i don't want to i don't i don't want to i don't want my youtube to take over my my hot dog in business you know what i mean so at the end of the day i still have customers and i still have to make my customers happy and i still have uh eventually will have employees and i got to make them happy too, keep them happy i don't want to force them to be on camera if they don't want to and i don't want to force my customers to be on camera if they don't want to so i'm gonna do the best i can uh, as far as that goes eventually i'm going to get back hopefully within the next couple of weeks um that has been that's been my biggest time suck right now trying to get this commercial sink installed find a contractor to come out and run water lines out here they got to run a, they got to bust up the concrete and install a drain and so that's been my biggest time suck um is finding somebody to to do that so that should be done next week i'll have water lines i'll have a drain i'll have that ice machine over there i'll have that hooked up um so once i get that in i'll be able to start finding people to work the cards for me in shifts and then i will be able to 
at that point, I'll be able to go back to working the bar and making more bar videos. I know that's what you guys want to see. That's the good stuff. I, I, I miss it, honestly. I do. I, I miss working, working the bar. Right now, I've, I'm letting my cousin work the bar, uh, Tom. I let him work the bar because he's helping me out through the week when it's slow. He, he doesn't make a lot of money through the week. So I give him the bar because obviously it makes good money. Um, so I'm, I'm giving him the bar to kind of help him out and make sure he's taking care of and making money while he's helping me out to find locations. So, um, but yeah, that's kind of the kind of where where I'm at. Uh, once I find locations, find people to run the carts for me at the other locations, I'm gonna get back to dogging in front of the bar and and posting more more of those videos. Um, smooth on the <laughs> no no he's that's something else man see everybody thinks that i could just put a camera everybody thinks i could just put a camera on a cart and it's going to be equally as entertaining as the videos that i post in reality like i'm not trying to toot my own horn here but it takes a certain personality certain type of personality to have the conversations that I have to do the things that I do and just the banter back and forth between me and the customers. Um, let me get that, let me take that off of there. Um, but yeah, just the banter between me and the customer, it takes a certain type of, of, of personality to be able to do that kind of stuff. So um, I can't just, just, I can't just put a camera on somebody and have it be equally as entertaining. Um, and Tom is a workhorse. He's a workhorse, he's fun, he's funny, but when he's slinging, he's all business. Very little banter goes on. And um, uh, not to say that it wouldn't be entertaining, but um, I, I don't know, I don't think it would be as entertaining. I don't think there would be much to watch. Um, just other than him slaying dogs, which just for some of you, that's sufficient. That's what you come here for, just to just to see the dog slaying part. But um, I don't know. It, it's not it's not easy. Not easy making making these videos isn't as simple as just setting up a camera. So um, I just wanted to check in with you guys, uh, let you know kind of what's going on, where I'm at, what I'm doing. Um, like I said, right now, I'm kind of working on getting this garage set up to be, it's a bit messy and disorganized right now because I'm actually working on it as we speak, cleaning things and moving things around and, um, just kind of working on getting things set up to make things smoother, working out of the garage here. Um, and once I, like I said, once I get the sink, the ice machine and all that going, uh, I'll be able to hire some people and start running the carts and shifts, running them daily and start making that, making that wiener money. So any questions, comments, concerns, Kelly, you asked, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't miss you, buddy. Um, you asked if I got the bearing fixed. Yes. The wheel bearing went out on the big dog cart. One of the wheel bearings, that one, went out on the big dog cart while Tom was pulling it back from Monument Circle a couple weeks ago. So, yeah, I just uh, just got that fixed. So, the big dog cart's up and running. All the wheel bearings are greased and happy. Um, although... I will say on the cash cow, sorry, I didn't mean to give you guys whiplash here. On the cash cow, let me flip the camera around here. That third wheel there, I don't know why, but let me see. Yeah, you can't really tell on the camera, but it's kind of cocked sideways because the bolts that hold the metal, I guess the rim, the bolts that hold the rim together on the third wheel came out. Kind of odd, kind of random. But I gotta get another third wheel now, so, uh, for the cash cow car. But it's still running, he's still running, that's his, that's his cart, that's what he says. So he's still pushing it around, still works. Everything's still good, still making money, so. 
Um, other than that, I mean, that's pretty much it. You know, I've got the freezer, got the fridge, got some shelving, got the ice machine, working on getting the three bay sink in, and I'm getting ready to order my third cart, which is going to be a cash cow, so another cash cow. So, that's where I'm at. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, got about 30 seconds to ask. Um, I'm going to get off here. And Danny, if you're still watching, I'm going to shoot you a text when I get off of here. Um, so, that's where I'm at. I appreciate you guys checking in. appreciate you guys stopping by. appreciate you guys watching. I've been getting emails from people. I uh, wanted to know where I'm at, why I haven't posted. Um, so I appreciate you guys looking out for me. I appreciate you guys checking in on me. Uh, more videos coming soon. I promise you that. So stay tuned. Come back. I love you guys. Keep dogging. Keep making that money. Hello.